What's going on collectors? Jim here with another review and today we're going to take a look at the Green Light Collectibles Vintage Gas Pump Collection. I uh, came across these the other day at Toys R Us and I just thought they were so cool I had to pick a couple up. Now the packaging is basically just a small little box, you know, it does have the open window showing the gas pump along with the brand and this is of course a Shell brand gas pump. We do have the Green Light Collectibles logo there and it says contains one die cast gas pump and then up here it says adult collectible and this is a 1 18th scale and on the side we do have the shell logo again with the vintage gas pump collection the other side we have the same thing and on the back we get this really cool old vintage picture of you know a gas station really really neat and the bottom of the packaging is that and then of course I picked up the golf one as well so these are really cool so let's pop these out of the package and take a closer look okay and here they are out of the packaging and these things are really really cool I mean I could definitely see if you grew up in the era of these or you just really like getting the actual life-size you know versions of these in a collection having something like this to kind of put up on your shelf is really really neat you know let's take a look at the shell first and again these are die cast they do have a little bit of weight to them and they have quite a bit of detail on them surprisingly a nice detail of course we do have the you know uh, classic sign that they had on the top which would have been like like porcelain I believe these would be we got the nice shell logo painted on there really nice this doesn't turn or anything like that and then it's really hard to make out but in here it has the you know this sale and then of course the numbers and then gallons and then there's even like a little picture of a dog right here I don't know if the camera is going to be able to focus that in or not you try to get close slowly yeah there you go so you can kind of make it out and then of course we have the shell again here the shell logo again really nice yellow and red and then coming around to the actual side where the pump is the pump is removable so that's really cool and it's basically just silver not a whole lot of detail besides the sculpt of the pump which is done nice and then we have this really really soft almost like rubber tubing but that's really really cool and then you have the actual you know silver paint for the clip so you can put that back and forth or back back inside and then we also have this kind of spinning part which is really cool and I guess that would mimic that this style pump you could you know pump on this side and then move it around a pump on that side and then now here we do have the warning label it says for use as a motor fuel only contains lead and then on the other side of course we get the same exact thing that we do get on the other you know this side really really nice you know detail and then we got the shell again along with the shell and then on this side we have a little bit more detail we have that same kind of you know warning gas and then we have another sign here that I don't really think is even legible yeah so I don't I really don't know what that is supposed to say I'm sure guys who are really into these old you know vintage pumps know exactly what this sign says but um, it's cool that at least the sign is there. And then on the bottom, we basically just get the green light collectible. So that is really neat. And then I went ahead and picked up this golf one as well. I like the colors on this one a lot better. But again, we get this nice, very, very light blue with the orange stripe. So I think that's really cool. We get the golf sign at the top. We got super. Again, we got really, really nice detail on this portion. And we even have the totals, the sales, and the gallons. So that's really neat. And I love like the chrome silver paint that they have going around there. And then we have the good golf. And then of course on this side again, really, really cool. Nice details and paint. And again, the pump is removable. Again, not a lot of paint. It's just basically just silver, but nice sculpt. And we have the same kind of really really soft rubber material for the pump and then this kind of plugs back in there and then we get that same you know uh, sign for the 
use as as a motor fuel only. And then of course on the other side we have the same exact thing. Really, really nice detail all over the place. And then on this one side again we have that sign and then another one of these little signs that's you know you can't really make out what it says. But these things are just really, really cool, man. Especially for those of you know, those of you who are really, really into collecting, you know, cars. I mean, um, I, I have quite a bit of, you know, I don't collect like the regular Hot Wheel cars, but I do collect a lot of the bigger, you know, um, Jada scale cars. And then, of course, if it's a Batmobile, I'm going to get it. So that's really all I have to compare for these pumps. Now, these are 1 18th scale. So whether you just, you know, grew up in this era and, you know, love these old vintage fuel pumps or for guys who maybe, you know, set up cities. So, I mean, this would be so cool if, if your city is in that scale to, you know, throw some of these old vintage pumps. Um, here is a, I believe these are 124th scale Batmo, uh, this is the Batmobile. I believe that's what the, or no, are they 164? I don't know. I get the scaling wrong on these things, but... Here's a couple of Batmobiles just to give you a size comparison. So I think this is definitely out of scale. It probably had to be something a little bit bigger. Here is a little bigger scale Batmobile. And then here is another 164 Batmobile. So that just gives you a little bit of size comparison. Obviously I do not have a car that is in that 1 18th scale I don't think anyway yeah because the other cars that I have um, around the house are like really really big so yeah, they might be but this just gives you a little size comparison as far as what they will look like and I mean these are really neat now I think they had more than just golf and shell at the store I went ahead and picked up you know um, these two but uh, yeah, that was a look at the Green Light Collectibles 118th Vintage Gas Pump Collection. Really, really neat. I saw these at Toys R Us. They were $9.99. So 10 bucks is a little bit on the pricey side, but you are getting a really, really quality piece. You know, I mean, it's you're, you're getting a, you're getting a die cast. You're getting the detail. Really cool. But yeah, that is the review, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think of these down in the comments below. And subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys on the next review. Take care.